everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Matthew chapter 13, verse 11, as well as Romans chapter 6, verse 3. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for these two scriptures. Lord God, help us to decipher them properly using your spirit, Lord, and help us to grow from it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Matthew chapter 13, verse 11. And he answered them, to you, it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them, it has not been given. All right. And so this is Christ speaking to his disciples um, and talking about the parables and why he speaks um, in parables. And so um, the thing that I felt like the Holy Spirit brought up as a great example in my spirit was um, when I was a teenager working for a catering company. And so um, lots of the high school students that I, I was around worked for this catering company. And so, um, yeah, when we worked for them, we got access, right? We, got, we ate the finest of finest of foods. When I say caviar and uh, salmon and crackers and all sorts of things that you wouldn't see um, or you wouldn't have access to on a normal basis, you know, we ate freely, right? And and of course, we didn't want to eat too much, but we ate, we had lots of access to food and we were constantly eating as we worked and um, cheesy biscuits and fruit and things that we can take home, leftovers, all sorts of foods. We were giving them constantly because we had access, right? We were behind the scenes. We were working for this company. And so um, it's the same thing with the kingdom. When you are... Um, a part of the kingdom of God, you're given access. You see behind the scenes, you can hear in the spirit. You can um, use the Holy Spirit to to navigate life freely, right? And, and there are many um, side benefits to operating freely in the spirit and, and telling others about God, right? He's going to feed you. He's going to clothe you. He's going to keep you you in constant supply. Why? Because you're around his supply. He's going to make sure that you get some remnants, you get some, some crumbs that fall from the master's table, right? And so um, as we um, work for the Lord, just know that there is, there is an access that you are granted um, um, in the word, as well as in the revelation of the Holy Spirit. He's going to take care of you and he's going to make sure that you are, you are well kept. Amen. All right. And so the, the second scripture that the Lord gave me was Romans chapter six, verse three. Do, do you not know that all of us who have been baptized in Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? All right. And so we were baptized into the death of Christ, right? So in the same way, when we are baptized, our old man dies and our new man becomes alive, our spirit man. And so this new man that we have is one with Christ and that old man is dead, right? That old way of sin, that old lifestyle, that old way of being has died. And once he goes down into the water, the new man comes out of the water, and so in that same way as Christ died, he went down into the tomb. He became one new man. He 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 became um our savior, right? He became that glorified version of himself. And so um in the same way, we are baptized into his death. And so um and this is that access point, right? When we receive Christ, when we are baptized into his death, we tell our old selves to die. We tell our old pleasures and our old desires and the things that we want to satisfy ourselves to die, to go away. And we, we want this, this new way of being, this life in Christ to come alive. And when we do that, we begin to work for him. We begin to live for him. We're allowing our old selves to die, our old desires to die, and are in this new way of being, this servanthood to live and remember it's not just a servanthood of of nothingness 
right? It is a servanthood of access. It is a servanthood of behind the scenes. It is a servanthood of fruitfulness, um, getting to take home leftovers, getting to eat and taste of things that you would have never had access to, right? The heavenly things, the things of God. And remember the, the previous completion talking about um, where we live, not for this city, but the city that is to come. There is there is a, a granting of, of access to something that is to come. And, and yes, there is a death that occurs here. There, there, there is a sacrifice of your desires and wants that occurs here. But God has that, right? He is going to take care of that. He's going to make sure that you are taken care of, even in your sacrifice, even in your sufferings, even in, in the things that you are giving up, you are granted access. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, Father God, for the access that you have granted us. Thank you for keeping us and helping us to abide in you and showing us how to live for you. God, we know that we have benefits. Lord God, you can pay bills without money. You can you can give us shelter. You can give us clothing without even the same needs as everyone else you even maintain our clothing we have benefits in you Lord God help us to give up our part give up that old man let him go and take up this cross and follow you help us to be baptized in your death help us to be outside the gate and, and bear that reproach that you bore Lord God with you in Jesus name we pray amen all right you guys if there's anybody else who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart. Excuse me, as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for me on the cross. I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. I ask you to come into my heart. Me, my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you into the day of redemption. And no one can break that that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he's going to show you the way for your in your life, the and God, the Father, has that will that's set up for you. And he, you're going to be able to walk in it. Um, the Holy Spirit is going to lead you and guide you in it. So one of the best ways to learn the voice of the Holy Spirit is to sit down in his word, chew on his word, and talk to him. Allow him to begin to speak to you. And you'll begin to decipher what's your voice and what's his voice. Um, as you trust his voice more, his, his voice and the sound of his voice grows louder. So, um, listen to him. Don't chase him. Don't, um, don't ignore him. Um, abide in Christ using his Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit's going to lead you and guide you into all truth. He's going to show you a church home to go to other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God where to go to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, as well as um, how to go out and make disciples of all men. God is going to show you those things through his Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.